brothers and sisters. Today we are going to learn how to make puppets for the Farm VBS. Every day of the Farm VBS there is a puppet show with a horse and a rooster. So every day these two puppets will come to your VBS and participate. So the lesson where the children are learning a special point the horse is going to learn the same point each day. So it's important that as the horse learns, the children can start to learn also. The puppet show in the farm VBS is at the end of each lesson and it helps review what they learn at the end of each day as the horse learns the same point. So today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make the horse and the rooster puppets. Alright, let's start with the horse puppet. This is the horse puppet that we will be learning today. It has two patterns. So the first thing you want to do is go to our website and download these two pattern sheets. Once you've downloaded them, you'll need to print them off. This is 8.5 by 11 paper or similar to A4. And this is 11 by 17 paper, or similar to A5 or two A4 sheets. Print off these two pattern pieces so that you can make your puppet. Once you have it printed out, now you'll need to get your fabric. Today we are making our puppets with felt. It is a tough fabric that we have found here in this country of Mexico. You may use whichever fabric that you choose that you find in your country. The reason that we use felt fabric here is that it's a little bit tough so that the horse has a little bit of shape to his mouth and he doesn't fall over. The other reason we use felt is because it doesn't fray. We can use, we can cut the edge for example, this bottom here has not been sewn and it won't fray. So that's nice that we don't have to sew all the edges. Once you have chosen your fabric and purchased your fabric, you'll need to cut them out based on the patterns. For this pattern of the horse, here's the body of the horse as you can see. And at the bottom it says you need to add 3 centimeters. So you will cut the horse as this shape here and add 3 centimeters. Here is an example of a brown felt cutout of this. So I'll just place it here and you can see that I am three centimeters below the paper there. So I added a little length. This will help cover your arm in the puppet show. So you need to start up here it says you need to cut two out times two. So you need to cut out two pieces of horse base exactly as this pattern shows. Once you have these two cut out, now we will sew them together. You can use a hand needle and thread. Just borrow one from your grandmother. So you'll just need needle and thread. One of the things that makes it look nice is if you find a thread that is the same color or similar color so that you can't see the thread very well. We've used a light color here so you can see a little bit. So you're just going to want to sew the edge together simply with the needle and thread. So for this horse, you're going to sew up to the edge of his mouth right there. You will not sew the mouth. Leave that open. Then you start again here and sew around the edge to this other side at the bottom. Once you have that sewn together, now it's time to make his mouth. On the same pattern sheet, you will see here is the pattern for his mouth. See, I have a mouth here. We have made the mouth red. It matches nicely with the brown, and you can see when he opens his mouth. So here's the pattern. So I have cut out the fabric. Now if you want, you can do several, print two copies and then have an extra copy of this and cut it out like we did here. 
or you can trace around with a pencil on the felt fabric and then you'll know how to cut that out. Once you have your red mouth cut out, it's time to sew it into the mouth of your horse. So you're going to open up, it'll look like this, on the, like I have here on the bottom, that it's, oh, we left it open on the horse's mouth. And then you're going to just place this red piece to go all the way around here. So you're going to open his mouth and then hand sew around the edge, the brown to the red. And then we have those little teeny triangle peaks here on the edge. And that's going to help you make sure to place that right there on the edge of the mouth of the horse. Alright, once you have sewn the mouth into the horse, you're going to turn it around. Here, I'll show you. Here is one that's finished sewing. It looks like this. When you're finished, all the way around with the mouth. So then you just turn it inside out. As you can see, this fabric is not as stiff, so this horse is going to be a little bit floppier. He'll be a little floppy, whereas this fabric is a little bit stiffer, which is nice for filling a nice stiff horse. All right, so that's the sewing part. Now we're going to decorate this horse. All right, so here we have ears to put on, hair, eyes, and nose, and we also gave this one eyebrows. Now for each horse, we encourage creativity so that you can make this horse as you want. You can have big eyebrows or you can have no eyebrows. You can have very long hair, or you can have very short hair. Here is the pattern that we've given you for a variety of options for the horse. This piece here is for the hair. Looks like this. We chose a bright orange color for the hair because from a distance, if you have a VBS with a hundred children, you're going to want to see the horse from a long ways away in your church building so we found that the bright orange makes a nice contrast on the brown horse. So we cut this you may do one or you may do two then we attach this with hot glue instead of sewing. It makes it a little bit easier to attach than having to sew everything. So this is what we used. It's a silicone or hot glue that you plug in and it attaches quickly and immediately. You can use whatever glue works well in your country. So this piece here you can see is longer hair than this one here because we told our staff they were able they could choose however long they wanted their hair and this this particular horse Julio made, and he chose to have shorter mane hair like this. He also did two, he cut two of them and hot glued one on each side. Then you cut like this with scissors to make the different hair pieces. Then you can fluff it up. That's how you make the mane hair of the horse. Now this hair on the top here is just a yarn that we found here. Um, it's a, like a fine yarn, but it's not necessary and you can use whatever you want. If you would like some fuzzy hair at the top of your horse head, you can do that. Next are the ears. On this sheet of the pattern we showed you, we have a large ear pattern and a small ear pattern. So you can make a large ear or a small ear, or you can do brown for this one and orange for that one. For this ear, we just took this piece of fabric of felt and pinch it at the bottom like this. And it makes like a curl ear. 
and then we attached it with the hot glue right there. If you want the two colors, like you can see here, you're going to want to first attach the orange ear on the inside of the brown ear, then you can fold it and attach it to the head. So, attach both ears on both sides. There's some other options here. We went ahead and gave you our big unibrow or a large eyebrows that you can put. We put it in orange so that you can see it well. But it's optional. Nostrils or nose, optional. And then eyeballs. So there's lots of eyes that you can find. Here's a plastic eye that we found here in Mexico that's not wiggly. And here's one that's wiggly. Either way, and if you don't find any plastic eyes, you may use orange felt and black, do a little, and just put fabric on as the eyes. That also works very well. You can also use white for the white of the eye, and then black for the pupil of the eye, and it looks normal. Okay. Also on this pattern, you'll see that there's this other piece here that's got a round circle at the top with a square. This is an idea that Floor came up with that goes on the nose. So it has the hair piece at the top and then it goes down and is part of the nose. It looks pretty cute. But her, her puppet is left now in India so I can't show it to you. <laughs> okay. Here we also have some nose patterns for you. So these patterns are optional and you can change them as you wish to make your horse a little bit different. Now to make him a little bit full in the head, we stuffed him with some pillow stuffing. This is like um, quilt batting or you can use pillow stuffing and actually you can use leftover fabric that you cut out. It works fine as well because no one's going to see it. So you just stuff it inside the head. And we also made his mouth a little more sturdy by gluing some cardboard inside. I'll show you. Here's a piece of cardboard and you can see it's not attached very well. We just use this hot glue and put some right there on the edge and held the cardboard down. So that makes the mouth a little bit sturdier but it is also optional and depends on your fabric. If you have a fabric that's a little wimpier you're going to need the cardboard more. Okay, so that's how to make your horse puppet. Today what we have learned is how to make a horse and a rooster puppets for the Let's Go to the Farm VBS. We have five patterns that you will download off our website. Three for the rooster, two for the horse. First you download the patterns, next you print them on paper. We have 8.5 by 11 or 11 by 17 paper over here in Mexico. But if you're on the other side of the world, this would be similar to A4 or two A4s or an A5. Once you have them printed, you want to purchase your fabric. We recommend felt, but you may use whatever fabric you can find in your country. And then it's simple. In one day, you can finish your horse and rooster and you will be ready for your next VBS, Let's Go to the Farm! <laughs>